So we made it to Zanzibar, island off the coast of Africa. That is the Indian Ocean. My first time seeing the Indian Ocean and it, it truly is spectacular. You got that color that you want now. The weather a little overcast today, but it's gonna be good over the next few days. So that's fine. Anyway, I, uh, you know, we're flying from uh, Tanzania, the African mainland to Zanzibar, which is part of Tanzania today. And I was just checking my phone. And I saw the, the Adam Schefter appearance on Pat McAfee. And apparently everybody's all up in arms over the fact that he said that he thinks that Sam Darnold is gonna be QB2 for the 49ers. Let me emphasize, he thinks. Adam Schefter is delivering nothing new as far as information. He's delivering another opinion. And people need to realize that when somebody delivers an opinion, you can't take it as gospel, even if it is Adam Schefter. It's just opinion. I, I, I heard that he's still you know, talking about the Mac Jones thing that he was wrong about in 2021, saying the 49ers initially traded up because they wanted to get Mac Jones, but then they fell in love with Trey Lance. That wasn't the case. They traded up because they liked three quarterbacks and they ended up picking Trey Lance after doing their due diligence. Anyway, it, you know, Schefter did nothing wrong in this case. The, the consumer of the information that's freaking out is doing something wrong in this case. You have to realize that Schefter is just in a slow period of news. We all are. He's delivering an opinion and that opinion's gonna get traction because he's Adam Schefter, but by no means is it an update on the 49ers quarterback situation. This will develop organically. That's what Shanahan wants. Organic development of the QB situation will turn into whoever starts, whoever's QB2, was because it's gonna be something natural, right? Brock Purdy is the leader in the clubhouse. Brock Purdy probably will start if he is healthy. That's the way it should be. But between Trey Lance and Sam Darnold, let's just see who has the better training camp, right? Adam Schefter is delivering his opinion. And it's obvious the 49ers like all three guys, but again, organic development of the quarterback situation is what is going to happen for the 49ers. Another point that he made was there was no trade market for Trey Lance. And to that, I say no shit. We knew there was no trade market for Trey Lance. His stock was at the lowest that it's been after two injury fueled campaigns. So it only made sense for the 49ers to hang on to him because they need numbers in the quarterback room and you don't sell low, right? They're going to see what they have in Trey because they believed in him when they drafted him. They still believe in him now. It's just a little bit later in the process and Brock Purdy has emerged. So numbers in the QB room, they're a good thing for the 49ers. Uh, here's the little villa. Here are the palm trees in Zanzibar. And we can walk down to the water. See the Indian Ocean for the very first time. I actually haven't walked this close until now. Literally... Got here a little while ago, getting ready for dinner. We're 10 hours ahead of California. Oh boy, look, even got a little bit of a pathway here to the ocean. It looks like high tide right now. Definitely is high tide right now. There it is. That's the Indian Ocean. You can see a long, long way. Africa, where you could be on a safari in the morning and white sand beaches in the evening.